Let's get started using your CenturyLink home Wi-Fi. We'll go over the simple steps to connect some of the most popular devices to your wireless network, like laptops, smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, and gaming consoles. Before you do anything, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Check to see if the green Wi-Fi light on the front of your router is on. If it is, you've got Wi-Fi. Now, find your network name and password. If you haven't customized them already, you can find them on a sticker on the bottom of your router. The network name might also be the SSID or ESSID. And the password on CenturyLink modems is usually called the key or passphrase. Once you find these, jot them down or snap a photo with your smartphone. You'll need them later to connect each device. If you want to set up a custom Wi-Fi network name or password, you should do that before connecting any of your devices. If you change these settings in the future, you'll need to repeat the steps to connect your devices to your Wi-Fi using the new settings. Time to start connecting. For most devices, go to Settings and choose Wi-Fi or Connections. The names for setting screens can be different from device to device. A quick internet search can usually help you find the right way to open the setting screen for each specific device and connect it to Wi-Fi. Enter phrases like, how to connect an iPhone to Wi-Fi in your search. Open your connection settings or Wi-Fi screen. A list of nearby wireless networks will appear. Find the name of your network in the list. Select it. Now type in your wireless password and press join or connect. That's it. After a few seconds, your device should connect to your home Wi-Fi. Smart home devices, including fitness trackers, thermostats, security systems, doorbells, or appliances can be connected too. To connect a printer to your Wi-Fi, you may have to connect it directly to your computer so that you can set up the printer's wireless functions. Again, check your owner's manual for information or do an online search to learn the correct way to configure your printer for Wi-Fi. You may also be able to connect compatible devices to Wi-Fi using the WPS button on your router without entering a password. First, push the WPS button on the router. It will flash as it searches for a device to connect. In the Wi-Fi settings on your WPS compatible device, find the name of your wireless network and select it. After a few seconds, the device will pair with your router's network and you'll be connected to Wi-Fi. Visit CenturyLink.com slash connect Wi-Fi for more detailed instructions and tips setting up your Wi-Fi.